Welcome to the first MQL5 tutorial. Today we will look at the different segments of the MQL5 code and what they represent. First, let's talk about comments. Comments can be written in two ways in MQL5. The first is a single line comment, made by placing your comment in front of two forward slashes. Multiple line comments are made by writing a forward slash, followed by an asterisk, and closing with an asterisk, followed by a forward slash. And all text will go in between. This is a multiple line comment. Those are the two types of comments, single and multiple line comments. Let's look at the property segment. We have the property copyright, property link, and property version. These are all shown when the expert is loaded under the common tab. You can see the expert name, the version, the copyright, and the link is opened when the copyright is clicked. Inside the property segments, you can see the version, the copyright, and the link under the copyright. The includes are used to call any standard library or external DLL. It starts with include, followed by the location of the library being referenced. If you look at the navigator window under the expert folder, you can see expert.mqh. Under the expert signal, you can see the signal macd.mqh. Inside the include folder, you will find other standard libraries that can be applied for multiple purposes when writing EA or indicator code. You have chart object folder, which contains multiple standard libraries that can be called when working with objects to be displayed on chart. These are external inputs. When you want an input to be modifiable by the user during runtime, you write input before the variable name. If you do not write input, the parameter will only be changeable within the code. For example, we have input int change this, an externally modifiable integer that can be modified by the user when EA is loaded to their chart. When EA is loaded to chart, you can see change this with default value 30 and how freely it can be modified. By removing the input, the value of change this can no longer be modified by the user, but can only be modified inside the code. You can simply say int change this. Like above, we have int expert magic number and bool expert every tick. When the EA is run, you can't see change this and the other variables with no input preceding their declaration. Now let's make a new EA and have a more practical look at its functioning. When a new EA is opened, you see these default functions the on init, the on d init, and the on tick function. The on init function is the first function to run in an EA. It runs only once. When the EA is placed on the chart, all codes placed within the function will run once when the EA is placed on chart. The on d init runs once when the EA is removed from the chart. While the on tick runs on every tick received by your MT5 platform, it runs repeatedly till expert is removed from the chart. Now let's use the print function to write to log when EA is placed on chart, while it is still on chart, and when it is removed from chart.
This is a simple application of the print function. The print function is used to write strings and values to the MT5 login tester during back test or to the experts tab during demo or live test. You can see the expert log. This shows all EA and indicator related operations and errors, while in the journal tab keeps a log of all other MT5 operations, like server responses, loaded files, and trade operations. The difference here is that experts will only show you indicator and EA related operations, but journal will show you all other operations. So when we compile our new EA, which I called Learn One, and we click the Run button from Meta Editor, and we click OK, you can see EA placed on chart, printed to log. And on every tick received by the MT5 platform, it keeps saying EA still on chart. And when EA is removed from chart, It prints EA removed from chart. Looking at the code, when EA is placed on chart, this is run. When EA is removed from chart, this is run. While EA is still on chart, this is run repeatedly. If we make the on tick print a comment so our log does not get filled up after EA has run for up to a month, for example, let's try and run this. Let's clear the log so we see it more clearly. And let's run the EA again, placing Learn 1 on our chart. You can see EA placed on chart, printed to our log, and EA still on chart as a comment on the chart. Removing the EA from the chart, you can see EA removed from chart. However, the comment was not deleted from our chart. We can leave it there as well as it will not affect the platform in any way. But if we want it gone, we can put a comment function in onDinit to overwrite our comment with an empty string. In the onDinit function, we just have to add a line of code to place an empty comment on the chart when EA is removed. Placing the EA on our chart, you can see EA placed on chart. And when EA is removed from chart, you can see EA removed from chart and also comment on chart is gone.